What's up, E-Click? Hey, look here. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for your response to the Telesis series. I had a lot of fun putting that together. We're coming at you with a second season, coming here pretty soon. I'm gonna be doing some really, really interesting interviews and Q&A sessions with some of my best friends in the industry, some giants that I'm sure you guys know. Listen, I wanna take this minute today and I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? We're gonna to get to it right now, okay? And I've put some questions, or my team has assembled your questions for me. In a bowl, I'm gonna pick them out and I'm just gonna read them and answer your questions. So, here we go, we're just chilling in the living room tonight, relaxing, here we go, let's see. Who do we have here? Uh, this is from uh, Supone Boyagado, 9718, all right? And Supone wants to know, Maestro, please can you tell me about what's the best in-ear headset for drums? Great question. Um, I use Empire Ears, Supone, and the reason I use them is because they're full range uh, in-ears. Um, they're rather expensive, but pretty much, I mean, if you get uh, any in-ear system uh, that has like, you know, highs, mids, and lows, they're gonna serve you well. And if you wanna check out the Empire Ears, go to empireears.com, all right? So those are the ones that I've been using lately. I've had maybe 10 sets of in-ears, and these are my actual favorites, okay? Cool. Keep jamming, Supong. All right, thanks for the question, buddy. Next, <clears throat> who do we have here? Robert Reed, Atlanta fireman drummer. All right, here we go. Robert wants to know, question, sir, are you still using 9A size drumsticks? I remember you having a signature stick, uh, signature stick years ago, and I believe it was a 9A. Immense, huge respect, and thank you for the decades of inspiration I get from you for my drumming. Respectfully, Robert Reed, local working drummer and Atlanta firefighter. First of all, buddy, uh, I just want to thank you for being a first responder and for doing what you do for us and protecting us and, and you know, being that everyday hero. Um, in answer to your question, no, I left the 9A configuration some while ago and I went back to the stick that I've been using or I used to use with Vic Firth. Vic Firth was my very first choice before I signed the, the stick deal with Zildjian and I went back to the American Classic size and uh, so that's what I've been using and um, that's my stick of choice. And I like that stick because I can do Clapton's gig with it but then I can turn around and go and do Bette Midler with it. It's a medium weight stick it's heavy enough to give me the punch when I need to really dig in and get a really fat sound out of the drums. And, uh, but then it's delicate enough that I can use it in a, you know, a more delicate situation. All right, Robert Reed, thank you, buddy. Next. All right, <clears throat> let's see. All right, this is from Zach Magruder. All right, can you please do more drum covers and solos at home? Uh, yes, Zach, I will be doing that, exactly that. As a matter of fact, I've been working on something brand new for you. I'm gonna go ahead and let you in on it right now. The next one I'm gonna drop is entitled Frenetic Relaxation, so look forward to it. All right, cool, great. Cheers. All right, um, Evgeny Moon, Sonny, hello. Waiting for your next album. Enjoying the previous one every day. Any idea when the new one drops? Thanks for any information and good luck to you. Wow, that's, that's interesting that you would say that. I'm always working on music, always constantly writing music. Uh, I'm in the process now of formulating. I'm kind of in between projects. Uh, I'm thinking you're referring to the latest, either uh, Love is the Greatest, the latest Caché album, or uh, Full Tilt featuring Sunny Emery, which I did with my fusion group not that long ago. That was the latest release. Um, we're working on both of those simultaneously right now, but I'm also working on a Sunny Emery solo project, totally apart and, se and separate from Full Tilt and from Cache. So we're going to be coming with a lot of music here, probably at the top of the year. All right, so look out for it. Thanks. Thanks for the support. 
right. Let's get to some more questions here. More of me to love. That's it. That's it. Okay, cool. Is it too late for me to learn how to play drums? Absolutely no. And uh, the reason why I did the series, the Telesis series, the way I did it, is for people just like yourself who want to begin at the very beginning. Um, I have a lot of players who ask me about the more advanced concepts, and I'm going to get to all of that stuff. But I really thought it was necessary to lay out how I learned to play the instrument and how I got the fundamentals under my belt from the very beginning. So it is not too late for you to start. I just suggest that if you are going to do it, commit to it so that you can see some progress. And when you see that progress, that progress will motivate you even further. All right? Cool. All right. Next, who do we have? This is from Jonathan Hillhouse. Okay, Jonathan's question is, anyone know what riot symbol he's using? Great bell. Ah, uh, John, that, uh, oh man, it's kind of, I have such a variety and I change them according to what song it is. Basically, I like the K Custom Brilliant Rides with the large bell. So pretty much if you've seen any of my videos and that's been pretty much what I've been using. But I've been, you know, endorsing Zildjian now for about, what, 26, 27 years. And I have a lot of different ride symbols. And I like to kind of mix it up. It just depends on the gig. So I have a lot of different varieties. Um, yeah, so there you go. All right, cool. All right. Okay, who is this? Rich P. Sonny, these are great exercises and you play and demonstrate them so well. Quick question, it looks like you're using fairly heavy sticks. Is this something you recommend for practicing rudiments or is it okay to use whatever you play with Big Firth 5A for me? I recommend you get a set of the rudimental sticks. You're right, I am playing with rudimental core type sticks and those are the sticks that I think you need to really build the endurance and strength and stamina. So that when you pick up your regular sticks, Rich, you can, you know, uh, really have mastery of what you're doing. And if you train the muscles with heavier sticks, the muscles will be nice and strong. So yeah, I do recommend a heavier stick when doing those exercises. Now that you can't do them without them, I'd rather, you, and if you don't, can't get a pair, I'd rather for you to just practice diligently with the sticks that you have. All right? Cool. All right. All right, this is from um, Short Leashed. <laughs> Great name, Short Leashed. Amazing. What make drum head are you using? All right, um, so recently I've been recording with the Remo uh, Ebony Heads, okay? And that's what you see on my toms. I generally use on the snare a power stroke, coated power stroke head and then a, a clear power stroke on the kick drum. Um, I've used you know, all varieties of heads, but I recently found that I you know, really love those ebonies. They have just the right amount of dampening. If you have seen the videos, which I'm sure you have, I don't have a lot of tape or a lot of moon gels on my drums. I try to tune the drum so that it resonates naturally, but the drum head itself is doing a lot of the, the dampening work. And those are Remo Ebony's, all right? So go out, purchase yourself some of those, and let the great folks at Remo know that Sunny Emory sent you, all right? All right, a couple more here. Take a little refreshment break here. Cheers. All right, forgot my Spanish shops. Trans, uh, transcripciones y recursos para bateristas. I love your lessons, sir. Keep them coming. Also, can you make a short video or include the clip in this series about what you do to stay in shape for years? You are always in great shape. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, um, a long time ago, uh, I put together the correlation between physical fitness and being able to play the drums at a very high level. Um, and actually, I was training, and I like to run, and I also lift, I also swim, I bike ride, I play tennis. So I have a 
are very routine uh, as far as that's concerned. I've also been studying yoga and been into yoga for like the last 25 years. That began when I got with Earth, Wind & Fire and uh, my yoga guru, Verdeen White, <clears throat> got me started and that, that has really been a great accompaniment to my physical fitness routine as well as just the, the spiritual aspects and keeping my head clear and focused. Um, it is very, very, very important that as musicians, uh, just even as human beings, that we take care of the vessel that God has given us. So I made uh, a stern commitment to stay physically fit so that I could play the instrument at a high level. Um, if you've ever seen an Earth, Wind & Fire show, you know it's two or three hours, really three hours of hard hitting, non-stop just energy from top to bottom. So that takes a little bit of conditioning. And my first awareness of how crucial that was, was when I was with Larry Blackman and Cameo. Um, Larry was a great athlete back in the day and the Cameo shows were high energy as well. And I was just kind of getting started and had not really committed all the way deeply to like a physical fitness routine until I got with them and I saw how crucial it was because on the very first show that I did with them, I made it through, but about an hour and a half into it, I was really struggling to stay focused, to have enough oxygen and to have the presence of mind to be alert, to react to what the music needed for me to do. So that's why it's really, really, really important. If you're gonna play on this level um, and focus on that level and sustain yourself on that level, then the physical fitness piece is very, very, very important. Like I said, I lift weights, I ride my bike, I swim, uh, I do yoga, and I play a tennis, you know? So that's kind of like the things that I, that I do, you know? All right, let's get to uh, another question here. After a swig of the delicious Merlot. All right, this, is a, uh, this comes from Chris Burt. His question is, is this Sonny's official channel? The question, or the answer to your question is yes, yes, yes. It is, and we're gonna be dropping a lot of content on this channel. So Chris, thank you for that question, and look forward to more content coming your way soon. Once again, thanks for your questions. We're gonna be doing this, you know, periodically. Keep those questions coming. Keep checking for the videos. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your drummer friends about what's going on with the Telesis series. And we're gonna be coming at you really soon. In the meantime, wear your mask, stay safe. Peace, I love you guys.